friends, I'm going to share with you today my adventure in repressing makeup. Now there are two reasons why you might repress makeup. Either it looks like this or it looks like this, which is mostly used and as the brush moves through the center of the pan, that hole's just gonna get bigger and bigger, which makes it really hard to get to all the product. So quite a few people, when they use a product they really like to that point, will break it and reset it back into the pan so it's more easily accessible to finish up. This happened to my blush and it's my Project Pan blush, which means I'm trying to use it up. So some product was messed around and lost in this process. So I'm actually gonna move it out of my Project Pan now. However, I wanted to show you what happens when I tried to repress it. Now, fair warning, I didn't have everything that I needed to do this, so I substituted a few things. And also the product, the Savvy Blush, is very high in talc content. So it kind of turned into a bit sludge, non-Newtonian fluid like corn flour mixed with water. So that was a rather amusing time and we had good fun getting that back in. Ultimately, what you're looking for is a wet sand kind of texture when you add your broken product to your alcohol. However, high talc products, so cheaper makeup, you probably won't quite get that wet sand because the talc or the corn flour um, or the kaolin clay just dissolves. So that's not something that you'll see in this video. However, I will include a link to someone who does repressing much better than I. Spoiler, it worked. However, it will be more fragile now, so it does have to come out of my project pan. I know I didn't get this right. I didn't do it perfectly, and I'm still gonna share it with you because if it's something that you wanna try, then maybe you can learn from my mistakes rather than watching a perfect repress video. So, without further ado, here is what you will need. You will need a clean receptacle. It can be a bowl, it can be a glass, it's something that is gonna be easy to get product out of, so don't use a tall drinking glass. You will need a small knife, something like a palette knife would be perfect, a small cake decorating palette knife, or an art palette knife, as long as it's small and can easily reach into the bottom of whatever you're going to mix your repress into. You'll need isopropyl alcohol. You can easily get it from places like JCAR, you can get it from supply stores for beauty things. You can usually get it even in coals. Now be warned, some of them do have a turpentine chemically gross smell. So you want one that doesn't really smell like anything. The alcohol that you want to choose will be around 70 to 80% to have a antiseptic effect. If you use 100%, apparently it evaporates off too quickly and doesn't actually clean anything or kill the germs. So if it's just you and it wasn't a major break, didn't hit the floor or your bench top, you know what I mean, then you're probably fine using 100%. However, just with the way that mine broke, it was in my luggage and just how I was going to do it. Um, yeah, I used a 70% um, isopropyl alcohol. You'll also need a dropper or a small spoon to slowly add your alcohol to your powdered powder product. Slowly. I did not go slowly. Whoops. You'll need paper towel or some thick facial tissue. Try not to use anything like an aloe vera tissue. It just needs to be plain tissue or paper towel. Finally, you'll need a firm flat object that is the same size or as close as you can get to the same size as the pan that you're pressing your product back into. So hopefully, if you do decide to give this a go with something that is broken or you've used a lot of, you'll find it easier. You won't make the same mistakes as I am. Hopefully be slightly more prepared. And also, you probably won't be trying to film it so you won't be at an awkward angle. I do also need to thank my lovely assistants. Lillian was very helpful in holding bowls at the right angle so that we could actually get some light in to film it. So thank you and Imogen for your encouragement through the process. Okay, let's get into it. 